making plans for night you This boy is electric Hi everyone, it's Thursday the 2nd of October. It's time to update you on how we got on in September with our solar and energy stats. But before I actually do that, um, I need to update you on the other video I did about guessing how much solar we were gonna get in September. How close was I? How good was my estimate? Let's remind ourselves of what I said in the last video then and how much I estimated. Going back to the previous September's chart, if I plug in 391 kilowatt hours for the 3.9 kilowatt solace array and then apply 57% uh, to the solar edge array, I get 223. And if I apply 37.85% to the 2.5 kilowatt solace array, I get 148. And the garden solar panels, uh, 2.4 kilowatts of garden solar panels, 38% gives me 149. So using those numbers, I'm estimating 911 kilowatt hours is what I'm going to get. So an average ish September should look something roughly like that. That's my guess. 391 kilowatt hours was the estimate for my main solar array. And then I extrapolated the uh, numbers for the other solar arrays with a total of 911 kilowatt hours. Yeah, well, the 391 wasn't actually an average. Um, if it did an average, I think it was 402, 403. So I was a little bit low on just averaging anyway, because I was basically saying it was going to be an average September. Well, how wrong was I? And well, yeah, the weather forecast fooled me, saying it was going to be average temperatures. It might well have been average, but September was exceptional with its solar. As per many other months this year, 2025 has been an exceptional year for solar. I'll put the chart up now to show you how many months have been exceptional. It's, uh, it's just been staggering how good the months have been. And September was no different. 466 kilowatt hours instead of the 391 that I estimated on our main solar solar array. So that's a 3.9 kilowatt solar array with a 3.68 kilowatt inverter. So 466 instead of 391. And that gave us a total after we've extrapolated because the next three arrays that we've got um, are calculated based on percentages. That's how I worked it out. And it came out to be 1,094 kilowatt hours. So I was only uh, 180 kilowatt hours out, 20%. So we got 20% more solar than I estimated. But the percentages were actually pretty decent. I estimated 57% for our solar edge array. That was the 2.4 kilowatts of solar panels that were on the same roof as the main array. And yeah, 57.08% uh, is what it was. So absolutely spot on. So 266 kilowatt hours for the solar edge array was a very accurate number to guess. But, you know, my guess was actually 223 because it was extrapolated from the 57% of the 391. So, you know where I'm coming from here. So the percentages are looking accurate, but the starting number isn't looking accurate. So the next solar array, that's the 2.5 kilowatt solace array. That's our four gable, east facing gable panels and three south facing panels on our garage roof. That generated uh, 186 kilowatt hours, 39.9, almost 40% of the main solar array. And I guesstimated 37.85. So I was 2.1% out. That's not so bad, is it? 2.1% out? Yeah, that's making me sound like it was a good guess. But 186 kilowatt hours instead of 148 kilowatt hours. And lastly, the uh, garden solar array, 2.4 kilowatts with a, oh, a 3.6 kilowatt inverter. So no limits there on what we generate. Uh, I estimated 38% is what we would generate of the main solar array. And uh, we came in at 37.7. So yeah, 0.4% uh, percent out. So that was very, very accurate. 176 kilowatt hours generated. And all of that makes the total of 1,094. So weather-wise, um, I haven't been able to predict accurately what's going on, but more just a rule of thumb, you know, plucking a number out of the air was probably a better way of doing it. And a little bit of common sense would say, uh, you know, I could guess in, let's guess in the middle, but every other month in uh, 2025 has been exceptional, well, almost every other month. So there's a damn good chance it was going to be, you, you would think, wouldn't you? 
So yeah, I was a bit foolish just going with average and I could have, should have, would have guessed <laughs> that it was going to be brilliant, but how would you know it's going to be that good? So, what about October? What about next month, this month? How are we going to get on? Well, if I go with the weather forecast, it says it's going to be average temperatures again. Uh, it says it's going to rain some more and there's going to be some storms. Well, October compared to September is always more rainy and always more storms, so it's going to be a normal October. But how much sun, how much solar we get, will depend on how many rainy days we get compared to previous Octobers as to how we get on. So is it going to be average or should I now say, no, it's going to be exceptional? Let's have a look at the numbers. Let's have a look at what October's looked like so far. Well, surprisingly, there's a really big spread of numbers. 358 kilowatt hours, 358.8 for our main solar array was in 2022. That's the highest we've had. And the lowest is 198.8. So 198 is the low, 358 is the high. Where do I think I'm going to be? Well, what's the average? The average of all of those is 265. So my guess, based on what we've just done, will be it's not going to be average, it's not going to be 265, but it's not going to be higher than the 358 in 2022, which was exceptional, a uh, very sunny October. I think we are going to have some rainy days, um, and I'm going to estimate we're not quite going to break 300. I'm going to estimate 298. Let's plug that into the spreadsheet. So I'm going to estimate 298 kilowatt hours for our main solar array, 57% uh, of that, 171 kilowatt hours for the solar edge array, 101 kilowatt hours, which is nearly 34% for the gable and garage panels, and the garden panels, 103 kilowatt hours at 34.5%. So that's what I'm going to go for, a total of 673 kilowatt hours, which Reflecting on it, looking ahead for October, if that's what we get, 673, I've often said 500 kilowatt hours is what we could survive on and be self-sufficient. So 673 should be a net credit month. So we're going to have had um, from, I don't think February was, I think we paid a tiny bill in February. Um, it wasn't a very good February this year, was it? So, but March onwards through to October, uh, it looks like we're going to have net credits in every single month. So there's only three months where we're going to have an energy bill and nine months where we're in credit. So it's very interesting to look at that and see whether that comes true as well. So 673 kilowatt hours is what I'm estimating and I think we're going to have a net credit as well. Anyway, let me know how you're getting on uh, in the comments, solar-wise. Uh, how did you get on September? What are your thoughts about uh, October? If you've got west-facing panels, is it time that it's now going to outperform other arrays because the sun is setting more on the west side? So if you've got west-facing solar panels, you might be doing really, really well in October. Let me know. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and the stats and uh, yeah, it's what it's all about, isn't it? Uh, learning from the data and understanding and that's what I'm doing here. These guesses aren't just playing a game. It's about me analysing and thinking and estimating and predicting what's going on, getting a good feel for it so I really know my solar array here. Why? Because I'm a geeky nerd that likes data, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and the stats. Uh, the next video I'll record immediately after turning this off will be the full energy update. Um, so for those people that like all the other energy numbers, all the usual stuff that I present, I'll do that in just a moment as well. Thanks for watching. But before I go, uh, it is worth saying that later this week, I have a video conference call with a solar installer and I'm planning my next solar project. So yep, there's a new solar project that I'm going to be doing that's uh, in discussion. So depending on how this telephone call or conference call goes, then uh, I might be proceeding with a new solar project. So more on that later. Hopefully next month there'll be a good update on that, depending on how this conference call goes. Take care. See you again soon for more energy related videos, solar, electric cars, all this great stuff. Have you gone electric yet? You need to, don't you? And save some money. Don't send your money to the energy companies. Keep it in your bank account. Spend it down the pub instead. Get yourself some solar. <laughs> Bye for now.